Okay, hello YouTube world, we're back. Second stage of testing. If you watched the previous video, it's just, if I put it all in one video, it would have been too long. Um, so, we're picking up where we left off. This is the only old canvas that I've got that I washed off um, because there's six, one, two, yeah, six canvases. I only had five of the hardbacked ones, so this is probably <laughs> not going to work, this one, but we'll see. So this is the Hour Troll and the Liquidex. So this is one part paint, one part Hour Troll, one part Liquidex with water to the right consistency. Not going to recap on the previous video. Now if you do if you leave paints to sit they do thicken up which isn't always ideal. Let's move that. word I've been gone 10 minutes because somebody knocked at the door that's gone a little bit crazy for me that is the uh, our troll and the liquidex so let's do some smashes shall we why not <laughs> So we are on to our fifth one, which is just our troll. Right, so this is what I want to test. This is just the our troll. That's going all over the place, that one. So nothing much is happening with the hour troll. Again, it's well, I say that it's going all bubbly again like the first one. So this is the one that I'm very interested in, and that's like the PVA and water. Because this is the cheapest pouring medium. Ten pounds for a big Five gallon, five litre, five litre, which is just amazing, isn't it? Now, I did notice that with this one, the 
blue seemed to be a little bit lighter after mixing with the PVA. So it didn't really hold its pigment so well. And it's really oh God, it's, it spells. <laughs> Ooh. Ventilation is important. Right, let's just pull the excess off. Right, let's see how this one goes, shall we? I know that that's going to continue to develop. I'm not sure that this one's going to do much more than that. Very disappointing with the Owl Troll. Really disappointed. Hmm. So, where are we? Yeah, so I've got quite a big glare in there. Let me see if I can get another camera angle. That's better, isn't it? Okay, outro smashes. nice that's I don't know if you can see that one on this camera angle it's gone completely wonky but the colors are stunning this one the colors are really muted really lifeless Let's see how we get on So this is the first one. Let's zoom in. Colours are really bright on this, but nothing's really held its shape. Me, and I, I knew this was going to happen because I've actually used this pouring medium before. There's my phone. Hold on. Back. Yeah. So this was the Outrol and the Liquidex. 
colours are really bright and vivid. Beautiful actually. But for me, just lost its shapes, lost its way. Moving on to the next one. This was just the Owl Troll. A uh, little bit underwhelmed. A few titchy skirt cells there. And this little baby is the whoops, PVA and water. Now we'll see how all these dry side by side, but this is quite dull, even though I quite like what's going on, but I can see already it's beginning to lose its, those cells are, are I have not got control over them. And um, I, I love what's going on here, the, the small graduated type feathering on the flowers, that's really cool. Yes, so let's wait for them to dry and we'll talk about each one and compare each one. I hope this has helped.